Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. Yay, Alaya! Yay, yeah, mommy. If you guys are into the look that I have on my face right now, please stay tuned. How long do you think that it took me to do? I want you guys to comment down below before watching, so this is like a fun thing. Do you think it took me an hour to do this, 30 minutes or 15 minutes? You have three options, you get to pick one. It's just like a fun exercise so you guys get to know me and understand how quick with it your girl is. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. It is a meal subscription plan. It is something I use. I don't like meal prepping. I don't like meal plans. Like they send it to you in like plastic sh that tastes like plastic. You microwave it. It's not my vibe. So if you guys can't find a solution, please listen up. Hello Fresh is a meal subscription where you get all the ingredients to create your own meal. To create a complete meal sent straight to your door. Hello Fresh includes over 22 seasonal chef curated recipes every week. For me, it cuts the stress of meal prepping and just figuring out what to eat every single day. That's the last thing on my mind. I enjoy cooking and honestly, it just makes dinner fast and easy. I don't stay hungry and agitated all the time. It is amazing for my busy schedule. HelloFresh has pre-portioned ingredients. This means there's less prep for you and less food waste. Best of all, HelloFresh is flexible and fits right into my schedule. I'm able to add extra meals or throw in yummy sides and desserts like cookie dough oh, and garlic bread for the nights that I'm staying in. Right now, HelloFresh starts at $5.69 per serving, and I don't know about you, but my coffee costs more than that. It is affordable, fast, quick, easy, healthy. I'm going to make a HelloFresh meal with you guys in Harusha's kitchen. So follow me, host. Hello guys, this is Alaya. Don't forget to go to hellofresh.com and use Harush10 for 10 free meals and free shipping. So we are just going to zest this lemon. Zesting, so zest. Don't forget to salt your water, saute. For some flavor, obviously. Don't forget to wash your vegetables, sitting cute if it's dirty. Chop, 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 chop. Breading. Parmesan. Cayenne pepper for some spice and olive oil. Black pepper. And then here's the gorgeous chicken. And we are going to put the Parmesan breading on top of this gorgeous chicken. Oil on the green beans. Some salt. Pepper, and you're going to stuff that right in the oven. Gorgeous. Couscous in boiling water, seven minutes. Stir that bitch too, don't forget. And then I'm going to wring that out. The garlic butter with the green onions. We're gonna melt that. Salt for some flavor, your bitch loves flavor. Stir. Now, also, don't forget to zest your green beans. It gives a nice kick. And voila, there you go, Michelin star chef. So a lot of you guys ask me all the time how I manage five different careers and my sanity at the same time. I would have to say one thing is I'm super fast. I move at the pace of lightning and with everything that I do, even applying makeup, like I know I do it slow for you guys to understand and I'm like explaining while I'm doing it. But honestly, the way I beat my face is what I'm about to show you. We're going to actually put a timer and I'm going to give you a full face fantasy in 15 minutes. And I'm just showing the everyday woman that you can really achieve these looks in a small amount of time. I know I'm a professional makeup artist, but I I promise if you keep watching this video over and over again, you'll understand how I cut so many steps out to make it easier. So just like my makeup routine, my hair routine, I cut that down to like, I don't have time to get ready. Every single routine in my life has to be short and direct 
and to the point. Not only my makeup, but everything else. Let's get down to business. Ready, set, go. All right, bitch, you know you gotta pump, 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 pump. And we don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna pat it in, like, and obviously this is not the greatest technique, but it's the fastest. I like to use this Morphe brush to smear my mask on, which is the La Mer Foundation. It's super hydrating, but also it mattifies at the same time, if that makes any sense. The formula is amazing and it has medium to full coverage, so I'm going to just smear, 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 smear. Rub, 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 circulate, blend, all of it all at the same time. And the reason why I like this brush, it covers my whole face and it helps me, you know, get this done faster. And make sure you go over it like rubbing it down because then it removes the excess of the foundation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't forget your lids. I keep going in to make sure that that blend is like really there. Because sometimes I don't like to be wasting time and playing no games with the beauty blender. Now we are going to grab the Urban Decay concealer. The reason why I'm using this one is because it dries faster and we don't have time to let the concealer dry. I'm only just highlighting. We're going to skip the contouring with the liquid part on this. So the reason why I'm going in stronger on one side and lighter on the other side, I have melasma on the side that I drag it down. I'm just covering that up. And usually I don't like to use the applicator, but this is my personal product. So it's fine if I do it. Mind if I make the tree of life on my forehead. There we go. Mm -hmm. But, 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 bounce, bounce, bounce. This is why I like using this concealer again, because it dries fast. So you gotta get to work fast. We're gonna use the Sharp Shape Tape. I renamed it, yep, it's called Sharp Shape Tape now. In the medium, and I'm just going to allow fuller coverage lower. Just because your girl had texture, I need a facial. Skin by T, where you at? And I'm going to add the overage of the concealer underneath the hollows of my cheek to make it look like I contoured my cheek. That's a cool little trick that you can do. It's like a little bit of reverse contouring, but with concealer. And I'm just going to pat this bitch in as fast as I can before it dries and creases. So this concealer does have beautiful coverage, but you need to get to work fast or it's going to play games. Mm -hmm. I know I look really gorgeous when I'm in a rush. This is probably the ugliest tutorial of my facial expressions you're ever going to see on YouTube. Literally, this is how I do my makeup most of the time when I get compliments. And I like to pat in that concealer onto my eyelids as well, just to make sure that I have no oil playing no games with me on my lids. Because your lids are the oiliest place. If you didn't know, now you know. The more you know. Now I'm going to go in with that honey just because remember I like the color. This goes against my own rules, but I blend it in fast. Just because it already has a dry backdrop, it's fine. It will hold it. The Urban Decay will hold the creamy concealer from NARS. I don't know what it is about this color. I really like it. I feel like it's very youthful and it makes my eyes pop. Look at me scattering like a dumbass. So then I'm just going to drag out that concealer that I put on down the bridge of my nose. I'm just trying to make it look more seamless. And then I'm gonna blend that out. And I'm going to go in with this large brush and go over it. Bad, 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 to make sure the creases aren't there. And now we're going in with my pizza Krylon. And we are putting in Harusha's mix underneath the eyes real quick. 
If you guys don't know what Harush's mix is, you should go ahead and check my video out on how I mix setting powders. The reason why I'm putting it on with a powder puff, it just gives you more coverage and a seamless finish. Picking up on this brush, going to set in underneath the hollows of my cheek and then blending out with the residue of it, just to mattify my face. The reason why I do this is because when you use translucent setting powder on your face, it gives you an airbrushed finish. Even if you don't have time to blend your foundation, it kind of veils it out for you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, blending that out, blending that out, blending that out. Blah, 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 blah. You can never blend. I love doing this on my throat because, you know, I have a throat issue since last year and I don't like any of the lines to show. Now I'm gonna pat that into my eyelids just to make sure, oh, look at that dust. She's a dusty hoe. So we're just gonna double set that with the brush. So when I do bronzer like an animal on my eyelids, there's no fallout. Pulling that out, pulling that out, pulling that out. Okay. Now I'm going to contour. We're just using a Smashbox bronzer for that. Make sure it's a matte bronzer when you're doing this, not a shimmer one. This is a really pretty color between cool and warm. It plays both sides. Blend out this forehead, this forehead, forehead. Cheek, 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 cheek. So basically the same application I used for the contour video, I do it with powder. I'm going to go ahead and pretend like I'm wearing eyeshadow with bronzers. Because you know, I only have a couple products in front of me when I'm doing this look. Because then you get confused and you can't do it as fast. I only set out the products that I need. And I'm beginning with the inner corner, creating the nose contour. Very lightly, not too heavy. Mm -hmm. Snitch. What am I getting next? What am I getting next? Here we go, we have the Marc Jacobs shadow. Now down the bridge of the nose. Up the bridge of the nose. And blend. And blend. In your corners, she wants to be woke. Rise and shine vibes in your corner. Adding that in and then blending it out. And we are going to go into the arch of the brow just to make it look more lifted because you know she likes to make it look like she can't breathe on her forehead as well, along with her nose. Mm -hmm. Cupid's bow and underneath the lip. What am I looking for? Oh, I know. So this is Charlotte Tilbury, that ashy tone, just to make sure the contour is prominent. And we are going in with this LOV blur brush, brush, blush. The reason why I like using this, it kind of like blurs your pores and it gives you a glisten and a blush color all at the same time. So you skip three steps. So mascara, this is Hypnose Doll Eyes, you know, it fluffs up the lashes, gets the job done, quick and easy. See how fast I am at this shit? You guys can be this fast too. I'm telling you, it's all about the layout, how you lay out your products in front of you. We're grabbing these lashes, little did I know they wanted to play me. We're going to glue them. Okay, now we're grabbing some Galactic Bronzer just to add some warmth and color to my face. You know, the bitch loves looking bronzy. 
even though I don't go out and get sun the way I should. Some NARS to create a backdrop. Rubbing and looking for the next product at the same time. Stupid ass, grab it faster. Come on. Come on. Come on, Hirsch. Grab the lash. You can do this. You can do this. So I like to place it in the center, then the edge, then the inner corner. Mm -hmm. Practice putting on lashes. This saves you a lot of time if you like perfectly know how to put them on. And if you don't, use like edge lashes when you're on the go. Or you don't even need to put on lashes to be honest when you're doing this. If this is your everyday go-to look. So this eye wanted to play all the games with me on the playground. Mm -hmm. It just wouldn't stick on. I think the glue didn't get tacky. So I'm like, you know, struggling a little bit over here. And then we are going to use the Bible Lip Liner just because it's my go-to. And Cupid's bow, overlining, 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 overlining. Blend and look for the lipstick. Yep, mm-hmm. Sable Smoke Tom Ford. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Fix that lash that's dangling. That's never cute. Now the glue is dry, so... She won't play games. I like to lift up with the tweezer just to make sure it dries that way. And we have some Tatcha spray. Spray, spray, spray. spray. Dry that bitch. Mm -hmm. Take those kitsch things off your head. Clips. Mm -hmm. Fix that hair. Fix the brows. Okay, there we go. Can you do that? Let's see you try. Tag me in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She gets happy when I do my makeup fast because I have more time to spend with her and playing and cuddling. And I love her so much. And she's the greatest thing. And look at her tutu. Okay, I'm gone. So, honestly, it's super easy. It's just like knowing, it's kind of like having a blueprint to something like you have to know what you're doing. And I feel like sometimes when you don't know like the steps that you're gonna take or have a plan before going into doing anything in life, it, this doesn't only apply to makeup. It takes you so much longer to do it. Like you should in your head, have a game plan and then just execute it as fast as you can. Don't I look good? 15 minutes, girl. 15 to 20 minutes is always the amount of time that I have to get ready. In the industry that I work in, I don't have a lot of time. I have to glam the person and be ready at the same time. This is how I like figured out the 15 minute makeup routine that works for me. And I want you guys to try it out and let me know down below if you guys like the look, you don't like the look. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hit them with the bell and stay tuned for more to come.